Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody's well and I'm fine. I've got a Morrison's haul for you. Um, I've, I've, there's a pattern here. It looks like I do a big shopping um, all day and then I'll do a little shop up, uh, shop up, stock up um, one in Asda and then I'll do a biggish one in Morrison's and this is, seems to happen every month I go to Morrison's, Asda and Aldi uh, simply because as I, as you know I love Aldi but some of the stuff's not as good as it used to be so every now and again I do like to go to Morrison's it's my favourite shop uh, it might sometimes be a little bit pricier but I still like Morrison's better so I'll get on with what I've got and um, I've got a nice bag of lettuce here I've got a big bunch of um, spring onions and a full cucumber five bananas these are on offer two for three pounds I've got the grapes and the strawberries I'm sorry I get too close don't I and then I got some of these sweet sweet mini uh, plum tomatoes they sounded just really nice wonky onions because you don't need straight onions or certain size onions uh, button mushrooms and the pepper and I've got three carrots and again I'll say it again I love the way they use paper bags and not plastic and um, soap mixes I've been loving these I've got a minestrone which I want to try today I've got um, a leek and potato soup and I've got uh, a vegetable I'm going to see if I can freeze them because I don't think I'm going to eat three soups in one week and they're only, they've only got like four, five days on them yeah five days so you never know, I might do but um, I'm going to try and freeze and see what happens uh, frozen, just one thing, I got some onion rings and that was it great granules because I was out I think this was 150 oh, I got some uh, melon this was just a pound and um, it's nice at night time to just sit and have that uh, I got myself rump steak which was £2.90 that looks lovely, it's quite thick as well for my lunch I've got a cheese and pickled baguette because it just looks really nice it's got like roasted tomatoes and onion and cheese and pickle I'm not a big cheese fan but um, right I bought this knife block, block it was £6 but this one behind is absolutely donkey's years old and it just looks really scruffy so I thought right for six pound I don't mind um, spending it out and it's just one of these tops where you just put it in I, I don't know what it's going to be like I know my daughter's got one something like this but I don't know if this is the same I'm going to find out anyway um, and that one's going to go in the bin um, I went for Fanta Zero but when I looked the Fanta Zero was 125 so I checked all the backs of um, you know all the like the salts and the sugars and fats and god knows what and this mango passion fruit crush is exactly the same it's exactly the same it's no sugar and no whatever uh, 125 for the fancy zero 60p for this so we'll see what this is like i got two sprays of Fabrice, one for upstairs one for down this is the cotton linen because i really like that uh i got this cob it's called this won't focus because it never does um, Kobe Cob oh it looks lovely and it was on off for 60p I don't know if they're always that price but really appealed to be that Rivita Thins these are baddies from Aldi's these were more expensive because they're Rivita but see what they like but the ones from Aldi the Thins which were like 89p started to sort of taste a bit mouldy um, I won't say dry because they are supposed to be dry but they've got this like aftertaste and so I've gone right off of that I thought I'd try these see what they like chocolate wheat of my new fantastic favourite thing Elmley oh don't know which way to turn it Elmley double cream a little bit of that goes in the soup a 400 gram Warburton wholemeal loaf back to enjoying that as well and um, eight snack sausage uh, pork sausage rolls and they're a little bit warm my sandwich four pints of milk some banana flavoured milk which is really nice right I don't have toast that often but I look, I've been buying the giant crumpets which I've got two of there and if I buy jam or marmalade it just you know it goes off the next time you go to it so I thought just get the orange marmalade little one with only 35p 
and the strawberry strawberry jam but they didn't call it that I called it strawberry something else anyway I've got two of those two salt mixes because they were on for two for one pound twenty or something daft like that so curry sauce for chips and the hollandaise sauce crumpets I've shown you cooked ham these were about 130 I think hummus and um, can't remember how much it was and I got a garlic and herb soft cheese these are to go on cream crackers two tins of chopped tomatoes and Hardy Mary's a tin of plum tomatoes Ravita uh, dark rye crisp breads I really like them but I'm not for slimming because they end up with their pack on them onion onion and garlic and herb dip and the creamy coleslaw at the bottom that's for I love ham cucumber and uh, coleslaw sandwiches uh, these are two for a pound I got uh, what are they custard two egg custard tarts one of my favorite things so there's, there's four like there uh, four triple chocolate muffins naughty but nice six bag of walkers ready salted crisps and a very big pot of layer pack and the reason for this is the ordinary layer pack was on for £3.85 you know the half size of that is it 500 gram something like that and it was on for 3 dollars I thought oh, that's expensive but then when I look further down these would come up at £5 layer pack and this is like double the size so it just made sense and what I'll do is I'll use my here my butter dish and keep that in the fridge and I'll just use my butter dish I've got a roll of black bags for the bin obviously and um, I needed freezer bags so uh, when I looked there was these actually I first saw these I wanted zipper bags because I like them much better I saw these zipper bags and these are the baker foil ones that's what they like and I really like these these were not for two pounds so I put them in the trolley then I saw these, these food and freezer bags, and I think these were £1.80. So this is the small and this is the medium. I think that one was £1. No, was it two? I think this was £2 something, £2.45, and this was £2. I know it's very expensive, but these were on offer. Like they were £2.85 and they put them down to £2. So I thought, do you know what? I'll get one and it'll just keep in my little um box where I keep them all strawberry cheesecakes I don't like a strawberry cheesecake lovely when you've added in a another naughty chocolate digestive four pack of whisper bars because I like whispers um, I needed some uh, writing pad I can't find a proper proper writing pad so this will have to do um, it was only a pound it's just a, a, a notepad but it is for writing letters which you don't do very often I got a puzzler because I get bored and I got the sun as normal and I also want to show you some a little Amazon um, an Amazon uh, purchase upstairs and um, I'm going to take it for a walk in my living room got big telly like that obviously it's um, a smart THD smart TV and I bought 32 inch that one's about 49 inch but I bought a 32 inch one and I'm sorry you're looking at the microwave and um, I bought a 32 inch one and it's on the wall in my bedroom but it actually has in it YouTube and Netflix which is what I've really always been able to watch I don't have an aerial connection up the stairs anyway on my Facebook feed came up this aerial that you can buy and it's American and whatever and um, you, it's like a flat piece of, of plastic and it's an HDTV aerial and it was something like 13 or 14 and obviously it was you know you couldn't get it back in uh, three or four weeks from America but then it intrigued me because I saw I actually looked at some um, reviews on YouTube and I thought hmm, I wonder if that would work upstairs so I looked on Amazon and I found this it's called a paper thin indoor HDV TV aerial free view channels watch full HD TV quality broadcast for free no monthly fees no price increases no contracts 
easy setup, all hardware included. The easy setup got me because I'm not that. I could do a bit of stuff, but I'm not really techy. Anyway, turn it over. So this is what it looks like, and I'm literally telling you, it is like that thick. It is so thin. It is bendy. You get one aerial with a three meter coaxial cable. I wish it was a little bit longer, but it's not. Two three, mi three millimeter stickers and three the industrial manual. So I haven't even read the manual. This is how good it is. Connect to ant in on the t back of the TV. Now there's nothing on mine because there isn't a, an extension to the aerial on mine. So there was nothing in the back of my tele television apart from earphones that I use now and again. Uh, mount the aerial and scan the TV for channels. And that's as easy as it was. And to be truthful, that was so easy. I plugged it in and I took it over to the window, which is actually I have to wrap around my desk. But that's fine. And I just didn't even stick it on the window. I just stood it on my jewellery box. And I thought, yeah, it won't work. It won't be any good. And I put it on scan. And while it was scanning, I went and cleaned the bathroom, which it took about five minutes. And I just cleaned the bathroom and tidied up. Came back and it had found 64 channels. All the channels that I normally watch. No Sky channels apart from one. I think Sky News was the only other thing that Sky it did um, find. But there was like film channels, music channels, ITV, BBC, all the ITV and all the BBC, Channel 4, Channel 5. All of the ones that, you know, that I do normally watch all the time. I thought, oh my God, I'm going to end up spending my life in bed. This is brilliant. It also found 30 radio channels. So, um, it found my local radio channel and two others. Uh, but it, all the BBC channels, so there was about 30. So, in all, nearly 100 channels it found. And it does say if, oh, the reception is brilliant. There's no, no bobbling, no, no buffering, no nothing, no... None of the screen going into little squares and stuff like that. It cost me £10. It was here in less than 24 hours. Um, I mean, I think it was here in less than less than 18 hours. Um, I ordered it on the night time and it was here at dinner time the next day. And that was actually a Sunday. So if anybody has got like a TV that, you know, they can't, they can't find channels for, it worked for me. Go on to Amazon, read the reviews like you should do. I don't always do, but I did this time. And um, somebody said on the reviews that they had literally lived in a bottom floor flat. They had flats all around them, you know, high rise flats, lots of trees. It didn't affect it. He got 70 odd channels. So, I mean, that is absolutely brilliant. You are supposed to point it the way that your aerials point. But I have no idea which the way that is. Because everybody seems to have like sky and they don't have a, a lot of aerials up and whatever. So I have no idea. But looking at some of them that I can see, I'm actually facing the wrong way. And it's still picking up all them channels. So um, just if anybody has got a television that they haven't got an aerial connection for. Um, bedrooms, kids rooms, playrooms. That might help you. That's it. I've waffled long enough. Back to my Morrison's haul. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not subscribed, why don't you press the button and, and subscribe. It's free. And if you do, press that button and you subscribe to the channel. Press the little bell as well and that will notify you every time I put a video up. Which is usually a haul, to be truthful. Um, thank you for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you like the video. I'll see you again in the next one. Bye for now. Hi okay, everybody, I thought I'd come back on, just going back to this um, HDTV aerial that I was talking about. This is my upstairs television. It's mounted on brackets so you can move it right across or you can tent the other way. Uh, so I can sort of lay in bed, watch the TV, which is lovely. This is ITV that's on at the moment. You can't get a much better picture than that. You can see that I use headphones quite a lot because my neighbour often works um, shift work and um, I, I, I wouldn't like to disturb him he's at work at the moment so this is fine so this is the TV it's a 32 inch it's a smart TV it's a bush one it was about 169 pound so what I've done is excuse my piano thing there I've the aerial goes in and I've had to sort of put it underneath my desk here excuse this I'm just in the process of 
um, rearranging the desk and then it's come underneath here behind the curtain and yes I'm an old lady and I have neck curtains but it's actually sat here it's sat there and that's how thick it is I'm hoping you can see but that's how thick it is it's really really thin I don't want to move it too much because it's in the perfect position now and it's um and it's giving off, off a really good picture as you can see so yeah that's um £10 HDTV Aerial. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.